Show. I'm your host, Frank Bleep Talk, the animated microphone with more street cred than a pizza-dragging gutter rat. I've been accused of being a potty mouth because I talk way too much. I try, but when I read the damn news, I can't keep my composure because of that. They bleep out my cursing so that I don't offend the algorithmic video gods. Now that is a bunch of Today's subject may ruffle some feathers. I'm going to talk about the R word. Yes, racism. If you are a racist, I am fine with you stopping the video now and getting back to your feelings of superiority. Let's start with the definition. What is racism? It is discrimination based on skin color and origin. You might be thinking, what are you fuck? No, you are a microphone. Well, I am gray. I understand both sides of the argument. If you are racist and still listening, you could be mad that you are being replaced by immigrants and other subhuman beings. First, we were sold a story of Christopher Columbus pulling up in the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria and learning how to grow corn from Indians. The truth is, he landed in the Dominican Republic. They didn't carry weapons, so he flogged natives if they didn't collect enough gold. The next boat trips involved the Atlantic slave trade between 1500 and 1866. That's a brutal story that makes white supremacists proud. Let's define the term racism. It's a concept that involves prejudice, discrimination, and the belief in the superiority of one race over another. How about Emmett Till, a 14-year-old boy, back in 1955, which is not that long ago, was accused of offending a white woman by whistling at her in a grocery store. He was abducted, tortured, and lynched. A huge example of racism is the murder of George Floyd in Minnesota. That dude was unarmed, and a police officer kneeled on his head till he died. Another example of racism is false imprisonment. Bruce Bryan spent 29 years in jail because he was wrongfully accused of a crime he didn't commit. Now that's some... Or how about cash register? He spent 34 years in jail, falsely accused of murder. I could go on and on. You don't have to be black. Anti-Asian racism is alive and well. There were 2,600 Asian hate incidents in five months nationwide during the pandemic. This was by Rekha's f***ing white people who blamed them for COVID-19. If these facts offend you, you are part of the fuck problem. Let's go to Joan Dayphone and talk about Jim Crow. Hello, Frank. Jim Crow was a white stage performer in the 1830s that painted his face black and acted like an enslaved Negro to entertain. Yeah, real f funny. Racist politicians named legalized segregation laws Jim Crow laws. They denied African Americans the right to vote, hold jobs, get an education, and own property. That piece of <laughs> President Andrew Johnson backed the Ku Klux Klan, trying to bring back the Confederacy. There were segregated pools, phone booths, hospitals, water fountains, elevators, jails, and even cemeteries. Marriage between whites and blacks was illegal. Ida B. Wells refused to leave a first-class train car. She sued the railroad and won. Then the decision was reversed in higher court. She started a newspaper. So just as you f think a mob destroyed her business and threatened to kill her. Thank God Lyndon Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act in 1964 and the Fair Housing Act in 1968. So other than that, Black Americans have gotten a fair shake since taking a forced boat ride. Buckle up. We're going to look further into the transatlantic slave trade. Portugal and Spain forced local Indians to work on plantations, but there was a labor shortage, so they turned to Africa for inventory. These mother f would ship arms, textiles, and wine from Europe to Africa, then send slaves to America. In return, ship products back to Europe made with slave labor. That is pure bullshit. Portugal bought Africans taken as slaves during tribal wars and shipped them to the Americas. So Indians got the short end in this business proposition, too. This wasn't on the f icon of the seas. They packed 420 men, women, and children into small ships chained together, standing on shelves for weeks. Over 20% of the slaves died during the voyage. 
There was a successful revolt in 1839 on a Spanish slave ship called the Amistade. A slave named Joseph Cinque led a mutiny killing the captain and two crew members. Even better, the U.S. Supreme Court freed the Amistad rebels in 1841. In 1863, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in 1865. Though the slaves were free, racist mother <laughs> felt cheated and passed down that mentality to their children. Their inventory was compromised, and they would have to intermingle with the help. Oh, you poor racist pieces of how would you like to know your great-grandfather stood on a shelf on a ship for weeks before being sold at auction? Assholes. <laughs> Take a break and head over to our online store at bleeptalk.store. Grab yourself an official t-shirt, hoodie, or coffee mug. These shirts are truly the <laughs> You'll never look better. Now back to today's jacked-up story. You can't say racism without a mention of Donald f***ing <laughs> Trump. Shall we start with the Central Park Five? He called for the death penalty for five black and Latino teens who were proven innocent by DNA evidence. He ran a campaign based on questioning Barack Obama's birth certificate. He wanted a Muslim immigration ban and called SARS the Chinese Kung Flu virus. He called for an electric wall and a snake and alligator-filled moat. He said Mexican immigrants bring drugs, crime and that they're rapists. He called Haiti and El Salvador <laughs> whole countries and that Nigerians should go back to their huts. He called Colin Kaepernick a son of a bitch for kneeling during the national anthem. In response to violent white supremacist attacks, he said there were fine people on both sides. Other than that, he's confident that he is the least racist person in America. I am becoming f racist myself. I believe Orange, twice impeached racist mother shouldn't be eligible to run for office. All I've been talking about is based on fact, not just opinion. Now, Florida is restricting what schools can teach about systematic racism. It's called the Stop Woke Act. It's an act, all right. Let's pretend it didn't happen. They brand woke as something bad. Woke means being politically conscious and aware that is what f racists like Ron DeSantis don't want. They want to hide their history and stick their head in the f sand. So that's my take. I apologize for the cursing, but all this is too much to comprehend. So where do we go from here? I know I usually talk a lot of but let's get serious. We need to work together to survive or we are f Racists may think that blacks and whites can't work together. I say bullsh**. You've seen the famous painting by Emanuel Leutze of George Washington crossing the Delaware. If you look over his right knee, you will see Prince Whipple, a black slave, frantically rowing to the victory over the British at Trenton. In 1777, Crispus Attucks, a black man, was the first man killed at the Boston Massacre leading to the Revolutionary War. James Armistead Lafayette served as a double agent working for the Patriots. Blacks had a huge role in the shaping of America deserving respect and admiration rather than discrimination and racist attacks. I am a f***ing microphone. I have black, white, red, and green wires. Without them all, I can't speak. As a nation, as a world, we have to treat each other with admiration and kindness, no matter what our skin color or origin. If you disagree and miss the days of Jim Crow, you and the horse you rode in a 